In this video, we learn about branching in Git. For this video, I've created a sample repository in GitHub. I've explained how to do that in the previous video. Branches basically enable you to diverge from the main clean code you have, make alterations to it, experiment without actually affecting the main branch. The default branch that gets created when you make a repository is the master branch. This is the long-lived branch where usually all the clean, bug-free code resides. Say you want to build a new feature for your product. You would first create a new branch, build that feature in the branch that you've just created, and then merge those changes to the master branch. This is when you think the code is ready. We'll talk about merging in a different video. Let's create a new branch called feature slash tracking users location. To create a new branch, you would say git checkout hyphen b and then your branch name, which is feature slash tracking users location. Checkout is a keyword that lets you shift from one branch to another locally. Hyphen b lets git know that you're shifting to a new branch that hasn't been created yet. So now we are on the new branch. How do we know that? You can say git branch and it will list down all the branches that exist and you can see which one you're currently on. Let's try moving back to the master branch, git checkout master. And we're back to master. I'm creating a third branch called feature slash exposing personal information. Now this branch contains all the code that the master has. Let's make a change here. I'll create a new file called messages.js. Now this file is present in my new branch, whereas not in the master branch. When you type git status, it will show you a list of all the files that you've newly created or made changes to. The two new branches that we've just created still do not exist on GitHub, or in other words, origin. To do that, we'll first add, commit, and then push. To add, we'll say git add followed by a dot. To commit, we'll say git commit hyphen m followed by a message. In our case, added a file called messages.js. And finally, we'll push to the branch by saying git push origin and then the branch name, which is feature slash exposing personal information. When you go to GitHub now, you can see the new branch that you created. When you switch to this branch, you'll be able to see the new file here. Say for some reason the changes that you made to this branch are useless and you want to delete this branch locally. You can do that by saying git branch hyphen d and the branch name slash exposing personal information. Now when you say git branch, you'll see that the branch is not listed here anymore. To recap what we've done in this video, I'll use the help of this open source website called learngitbranching.js.org. It gives us a visual representation of what we've done. As you can see, master points to the first commit C1. When I type git checkout minus B branch one, it creates a new branch and points to the same commit. The star indicates which branch I'm on currently. So git checkout master will move the star from branch one to master. I'm gonna create another branch called branch two. Now I'm gonna commit to branch two using a commit message. A new commit C2 is created and branch 2 is branched out of master as it has code that the master does not. When I type git branch minus D branch 1, it deletes the branch 1. In the next video, we'll learn how we can push the changes of one branch into another and more about git branching. I've mentioned all the commands that we've used in this video in the description below. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.